Alrighty, welcome back. It is Jaco back again with another video today. We're on episode two of Can You Complete GTA Online Without Dying? As you guys can see, I've spent around uh, 42 minutes total on this player. Still no death, so we're working pretty good so far we are level five so we have 95 more levels if you guys are brand new we are pretty much just gonna hit rank 100 without dying i say pretty much as it's like an easy thing but uh it's it's not so far uh we've almost died a few times of course we're gonna start our day by just heading to the casino so we can do our wheel of the day because why not i appreciate all the feedback on the last episode you guys said i should be allowed to get all the criminal enterprise pack stuff the free crap the office the businesses so uh, i'm gonna be working on that today i only have thirty-five thousand dollars, almost i think so we are definitely pretty broke uh we got all the free weapons and still already i am what i'm pretty much saving up for is the armored karuma because that bulletproof car will get me out of a lot a lot of sticky situations so that's what i really want give me some rp uh, Ten thousand chips i guess i'll take it i mean ten thousand dollars that ain't half bad. All right, so we just hit fifty thousand dollars, so we can start our first VIP in organization. What should we be called? All right, sorry, can't die. <laughs> I'm now the VIP of sorry, can't die. If you guys are brand new, though, we have to do this solo. That is the one um, disappointing factor of this. So business stuff and heists. I won't be able to do any cell missions really, which I actually just th thought of because if I can't, I have to be in a public session to acquire and sell goods. So so maybe I'll have to do a glitch to get in some public solo lobbies. But I'm, I'm almost out of stamina. Okay, good. <laughs> good thing I had quite a bit of health so I didn't pass out and die of a heart attack. That'd be a crappy way to die. All right, so today we're going to be acquiring our free businesses. I think we can do some stuff with the motorcycle club business, like those contract missions. Um, I'm not entirely sure, as well as the bunker, because we're probably going to end up doing this at some point too. Purchase both of those, as well as we need to go to Dynasty A, Executive, and buy our free office. This is what I was actually looking forward to, so hopefully I can start some of that stuff. Because I really need money so I can buy this Armored Kuruma. After I get the Armored Kuruma, honestly, it'll be probably pretty easy from pretty easy going on from there i completely forgot that you can actually get a free garage from the dynasty 8 website i completely forgot about it um or I, I can get this apartment as well okay so we're gonna get the free um garage as well as the apartment just so i have somewhere to spawn all right buddy everything in the bag let's go do i not have game chat i don't have game chat on this time <laughs> last time i had game chat on it i could actually uh make him go quicker but not today i guess who's shooting me oh god oh god oh god I oh i had to kill someone holy crap all right there we go come on <laughs> hurry up with the bag pal all right where's this no no it's not the time no 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 no, now is not the time. <gasps> Yo, I'm getting so many calls and the cops are here now. All right, Jesus Christ. This is going to be a really embarrassing way to die. All right, all right, all right. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Man, We're going to need to use this alleyway for cover. <gasps> They're already shooting me and there's a helicopter. Holy shit, this has gone so bad. So, so, so bad. Okay, but you know what? I'm just gonna... Oh, now I'm cornered. Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I can get out this way. If I don't run over every single shopping cart in the area. Oh my god, this is going so bad, so bad, so bad. Alright, we're just gonna make it to the sewer. Holy crap, dude. That guy just had to spawn and eat every one of my bullets, dude. Jesus. I'm just gonna juke you out of your shoes. Goodbye. Alrighty. We're almost at the sewer system. Holy shit, my heart is racing. I can't die. <laughs> I forget. I can't die, dude. Come on, flip the fucking car. Let's go. Flip. Flip, flip, thank you. All right, we lost some dude. Holy crap, that was way too close. Way too freaking close. Look out, fellas, I don't want to run into you and look, get him again. I need to buy a micro SMG as well, because if I don't have a micro SMG, I need something fully automatic for when I'm in a car like this. So I'm going to go over to the gun store and cop the micro SMG. I think you unlock it at level four or five anyway, so I literally just unlocked it. Oh, my heart is freaking racing, dude. That was way too stupidly close. Alright, um, let's buy full ammo for it, we might as well. 
All right, we got ourselves a micro SMG. Nice. All right, I'm also going to be copping an elegy just so I have something somewhat quick. I'm going to send that to my apartment as well. Uh, just so I have a personal vehicle, something quick, you know. Another thing that I needed to know from you guys last episode, and you guys let me know with feedback in the comments. You guys can let me know some feedback as well in the comments in this video too. I read all comments. Is that I can get collectibles. That was It's a really easy way to just get free RP and free money. So I'm going to go ahead and start these little Solomon uh, mission setup thing <laughs> or whatever you want to call it so I can get the collectibles and stuff because those are just easy, easy money, easy RP that I really want to take advantage of. And you guys let me know that I should, so I'm definitely going to do it. All right, well, there isn't a whole lot of me to do here in a uh, closed friend session, so I'm going to do some uh, sightseer stuff and uh, do some, get some just easy money. All right, we hacked the first sightseer little thing majig, and now we just got to go over and retrieve the package. Easy as pie, I think. All right, the first package is back here in the backyard just chilling right here so i'm gonna snag it and then we're gonna have to do number two all right package number two secured and collected now we just gotta do one last hack we go all right package number three a little bit farther away probably so or actually never mind it's actually pretty fairly close by we'll be able to do this pretty pretty quick and i will uh, see you guys when i get there all right package number three can i just drive over it no you cannot uh, honestly, I'm a super experienced GTA Online player. I have never, ever done a sightseer mission. <laughs> Holy crap, they're actually super helpful. I leveled up twice from that. I got $46,000. Jesus Christ, I had no idea they were so profiting. My God. I'm gonna have to do those more often. Another thing that I am missing is my, I think we get like a million dollars or whatever for, with the Criminal Enterprise Pack for free, which uh, unfortunately I don't have. Maybe it went on my other character and I can't get it again because I don't know. Well, actually I do know because you could technically make a second character, put that money in your bank and then give it to uh, your your main character and just delete character and keep doing it over and over again so that might be why uh it doesn't work like that which is honestly my guess i know that there are, there's a bunch of uh cards you can get the uh whatchamacallit yeah the cards the collectible cards i'm guessing you have to get that by start getting a penthouse or something which unfortunately i cannot get for free so yeah whatever all right so getting being able to get all the collectibles and with the trading cards the card collecting things that would also be really helpful because there's 52 cards i can get from that i think after i do the uh the revolver challenges which are honestly going to be ooh, actually vanderlin at ifind.com just text or just emailed me so i think i'm going to go and do that right after i pop this guy in the noggin goodbye all right Get the three stars, take my whip, and drive away. Hey, I should lose the cops any second now. I actually, yeah, okay, perfect. I actually lost them legitimately that time because with the Vanderlyn email, I think what I'm going to do is if I can't find a helicopter here, uh, yeah, okay, so it looks like the treasure map or whatever starts there, so you got to go there and find, like, the piece of paper or whatever. Okay, perfect. A helicopter spawn, which is actually super, super helpful. Appreciate you, Rockstar. I also, just for like a heads up, I'm gonna be switching back and forth from controller and a keyboard, if especially if I'm flying a helicopter or plane, because I have way more experience flying planes and helicopters with a controller. So if you ever wonder why like prompts and stuff start showing up as like controller buttons, that'll be why. Pressure is on, because if something doesn't pop up like draw distance wise, and I run into it. Ooh, flight school is now available. I gotta do flight school too. Jesus, after you hit level seven, you unlock everything. God damn. So in next episode, we are definitely gonna be pretty busy. There's a few bodies of water. I think it's right here I'm looking at. Some, oh, uh, I think right behind me. <laughs> Don't crash, okay. All right, so this is definitely where I gotta be. Uh, if you look at the picture, the two bushes are there, this tree. Don't run into the chopper blades, Jesus, that looked close. The trees in the background. I think this is where I gotta be, or around here somewhere. So I'm gonna start walking around, see if I hear any tingly, tingly, ting. All right, I've been walking around for a few minutes now, and I think I'm just gonna Google it. This is stupid. Oh boy, the strip club is now available. Bruh. 
All right, so I was really, really close. This picture kind of sucked. <laughs> Um, I'm supposed to be farther up, and it's under this bridge over here. Don't tip over and fucking take my head off, helicopter, please. All right, here is the piece of paper. Investigate the clue. No one's here. It ain't here no more. Whatever. Well, I know where it is, and I know it's here. Oh, cool. Clue number one is, like, right behind us. I completely forgot about clue number one. All right, every time I've done this, I've never failed to land my helicopter here. So sit still, please. Please just sit still. Do not move. <gasps> stop rolling. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Okay. Okay. Gonna have to watch out for the tail rotor. And I know that it is sitting here in this little cave. My jig. And it's a dead body. Hello, buddy. How you doing? I don't know why GTA Online doesn't have, like, active <laughs> collectibles like in Red Dead. I've been playing a lot of Red Dead recently. And uh, they j Red Dead does a few things so much better than GTA Online. Like the collectibles, how you can do business solo and stuff like that. There's a few things Red Dead does do better than GTA Online, but I think GTA Online is totally way, way, way better off than uh, Red Dead. Let's just take him out with the marksman. Boink. 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 Oh no, I got the cops. Okay, that's a problem. Um, we're just gonna have to keep that in mind for next time. It's only a one star, so I think I'll be okay. These don't give you a whole lot of money. I think they give you like $10,000. Gee. It's a one star, man. All right, so yeah, we do have to turn around and go to the city to drop off the drugs. Uh, at this point, it isn't even worth it because I'm going so far out of my way, but um, we're going to do it anyways. It's kind of crazy doing this challenge. You could die at any moment. You could run into a gas pump. <laughs> Someone could just T-bone you. If you land a car wrong, flipping or rolling down a hill or just going off a ramp, I will die. <laughs> That'll be it. It's very scary to think about. This is such a weird way to play this game, but I have to do the boring stuff sometimes just so I can, you know, not put myself at risk. Once I get more level and some better body armor and better guns and uh, better cars especially, I will be able to do more exciting missions. Oh yeah, sure, let me just purchase items that I don't have the money for yet. Below me. All right, car delivered. No, I just barely missed the yellow circle because of the curb. <laughs> But there we go, it is delivered. I forget how much RP and money you get. I think I get like $10,000. Yep, $10,000 on the money. I'm gonna have to steal like this minivan or something to get myself a helicopter so I can finish the rest of these stupid little clues. Oh God, please don't pull a gun on me, I'm sorry. It's just a minivan. Okay, he's, he's running. Forgot if you steal a vehicle or do something bad in the wrong part of town, people will pull guns on you. It's something I always got to be wary about. All right, I'm also 100, I almost 100% positive that there is an action figure in this gas station that I remember of. I have never personally gotten all of them, but I know for sure it is in here. Uh, I think it's right behind the counter, as a matter of fact. Let me put my gun away so I don't see as Oh yeah, I already see the action figure. It's a Princess Robot Bubblegum thing, so give me a thousand dollars. And I leveled up, level eight now. We've already almost made more progress in this episode um, than in the first one, but it's going to get slower and slower. All right, so we're at clue number two. I should probably just put my helicopter on the ground before I park, because, God, I, I'm going to die to something so stupid, and I already know it. I don't want to be negative and all, but... <laughs> It's gotta be a very stupid way how I die the very first time. Alright, and the third clue is this mysterious little tree right here with nothing on it. It is dead. <laughs> no clue why it's still standing, but here it is. Clue number three, and then it's gonna give me another location of the treasure chest. It's close by too. Nice, I appreciate it. Ooh, the time trials. I'm gonna have to be sure to do the time trials and stuff like that as well. I need a vehicle for it, and most time, most of the time, you need a motorcycle. <laughs> uh, and motorcycles are very, very risky to be driving. And a hundred thousand dollars, though, it'll be worth it. But I'd also have to spend a lot of money on a motorcycle. Would it even be worth it at that point? I don't even know. All right, if my memory is correct, which it usually is, I think. I wouldn't know, because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't remember. Um, <laughs> but I don't think there's anyone that usually spawns here. I'm gonna, not going to land on the, uh, the train tracks. Oh, it's actually up here. With the exact same tree, two exact same tree models as the one that I was just at. But uh, yeah, no, the guys that were getting it are dead. So that's perfect. Um, I don't need to fight anyone. Are you guys dead? Ooh, some ammo. Oh, I can't pick it up. Never mind. Yeah, they're dead. 
which is good to know. And I believe the double action revolver is in here, if I remember correctly. Don't know who's opening it, by the way. I think it's the ghost, the curse. <laughs> uh, train's going by, too. Wow. There we go. That's a double action revolver. I remember when they were hyping up uh, Red Dead 2. And this is the way. And you can actually do a cool little um, with this revolver. If you guys didn't know, quick little fact, you can't do this with any other pistol in the game. Look, I'll show you. You have the double tap, uh, either tab or L1. Alright, so I believe now I have to get like 50 kills or like 50 headshots. Which, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do yet because... You know, if I were doing a regular run, I'd just, you know, sit in the sit in a gas station or something and hold off the cops for a while. But I also don't want to get a five star on me because that's a very, very, very easy way to die. So maybe I'll just chip at it, chip away at it, you know, like here and there. Or maybe there's some sort of method that I'm not seeing clearly here, but uh, I'll look for it. And then we're going to do one last sights here, and I think we're going to call it a day all right we got package number one we got two more all right we're gonna do a quick little gas station robbery um on our way there i'm also gonna do this oh shit oh god you didn't need to pull a gun no my helicopter oh shit my helicopter no 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 no. this isn't good this isn't good this isn't good um shit think 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 uh vehicles uh okay this is free i'm just gonna take whatever this is and I am going to drive away. I will take my one star and I will run. You haven't identified this vehicle yet, officers. How the hell? <laughs> I'd realistic. My version is ruined. Go feck yourself, officers. Gonna have to stay off road in this shitty ass car. Ah, I really shouldn't be driving this thing, but some random guy had to pull a gun on me for no reason. Thanks again, asshole. All right, we are at the final package. Jesus, okay. We've had two store robberies go so badly today. Unbelievably bad. Look, I took one, two, three, like six, four, three or four bullets. Maybe like five. I don't even know. I can't even really tell. But we are now level almost 10. And we got another 50k from that. I'm so, so happy that those actually pay out really nice. All right, but quick disclaimer, I accidentally had my recording end at one hour. It was a setting that I had made a really long time ago that I completely forgot about. You guys didn't miss anything though. We finished the Sightseer mission and uh, let me show you guys as well as my stats. I still have not died. Let's see how much time we got. We got an hour and 44 minutes now on this player as well as zero deaths. So that is perfect. It's what we want. So this was a much more uh, less risky episode <laughs> um, though it had the ups and downs. The first episode was a little bit more boring. We're getting things put together. But now I can do VIP, um, start some of my businesses and stuff. Uh, I might end up going in a public solo lobby so I can do that. And um, yeah, I got my collectibles, my revolver challenges to do. I have a lot of stuff to do as well as flight school. So next episode should be a good one as well. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Of course, leave me your feedback down below. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Etc, etc, swing on the track like I'm federal. Look, I'm already ahead of you. You should accept that I'm better, bro. I ain't come weak with this shit since my ex-girlfriend Deborah. Since Miley Cyrus was handling my I keep it lit.